Imagine being able to fly above the clouds in the largest flying boat on the planet, covered in armor with a staggering range of over 6,000 kilometers. This was the Blom & Foss BV222, also known as the Flying Porcupines, due to its impressive array of defensive weaponry. It was the result of a design competition for a long-range maritime patrol flying boat, initiated by the German Air Ministry in 1936, and it has an untold story worth sharing. Are you ready to embark on a journey to discover the fascinating history of the legendary Blom & Foss BV222, the sky titan of the German Luftwaffe? This aircraft has become an icon in the history of aviation due to its impressive feats. Make sure not to miss out on the chance to learn about one of the most iconic flying boats ever produced. You'll gain a greater appreciation for the technological marvel that it is. Let's take a look at the design and engineering marvel of BV222. The design and engineering of the Blom & Voss BV222 showcased remarkable innovation and sophistication for its time. Here are some key aspects that make it a marvel of a machine. First up, we have the infamous flying boat configuration. The BV222 was designed as a large flying boat featuring a hull-shaped fuselage that allowed it to land and take off from water surfaces. This configuration provided it with enhanced stability during water operations. Not to mention, have you seen the size and structural strength of this bad boy? The BV222 was one of the largest aircraft of its era. Its massive size and robust construction allowed it to carry substantial payloads and withstand the rigors of long-range flights and adverse weather conditions. Adding to that, the aerodynamic efficiency is mind-blowing. The aircraft incorporated aerodynamic features such as a streamlined fuselage, wing design and careful attention to reduce drag. These elements helped optimize its performance and fuel efficiency, allowing it to achieve impressive range and speed for its size. Let me warn you now, there is some serious technical stuff up next. Did you know this magnificent beast was a six-engine power plant? Yep, you heard me right. The BV222 was powered by six engines, typically the BMW 801G radial engines. This configuration provided exceptional power output and redundancy, ensuring reliable performance during long flights over vast expanses of water. And how can we forget the wings? The BV222 featured high aspect ratio wings, which meant that the wingspan was longer in proportion to its cord length. This design choice contributed to improved lift-to-drag ratio, enhancing fuel efficiency and overall range. For a machine in that era, it had a state-of-the-art advanced system. The BV222 incorporated advanced systems for its time, including a comprehensive navigational and communication suite. It also featured defensive armament systems strategically positioned to protect the aircraft from enemy attacks. And of course, this Titan had water operations capabilities. There really isn't anything this aircraft couldn't do. The BV222's design allowed it to land on and take off from water, making it suitable for long-range maritime missions. The ability to operate from water surfaces enabled the aircraft to access remote locations and avoid enemy detection. Not to forget, to ensure durability during water operations, the BV222 had reinforced hull and floats. This design feature allowed it to withstand rough seas and enabled it to operate in various weather conditions. As coastal guardians, the Blom & Foss BV222 played a vital role in maritime reconnaissance during World War II. One major responsibility of the BV222 was long-range reconnaissance. It was well suited for long-range maritime reconnaissance missions with its extended range and ability to operate over vast expanses of water. It provided the Luftwaffe with major advantage by gathering intelligence and monitoring enemy naval activities. Not to mention its one-of-a-kind surveillance and intelligence gathering. Equipped with advanced navigational and communication systems, BV222 allowed for effective surveillance and intelligence gathering. Its crew could monitor and report enemy ship movements, convoy routes and identify potential targets for further action. And how can I forget, the BV222 carried out anti-submarine warfare, ASW-2. The BV222 performed patrol duties, scouring the seas for enemy vessels, submarines and potential threats to German maritime interests. It had the capability to carry and deploy depth charges and other ASW weapons to engage and neutralize enemy submarines. Did you know this heroic machine 
was also involved in search and rescue operations during wars, particularly in the Atlantic and Mediterranean theatres. Its long-range capabilities allowed it to locate and rescue downed pilots or sailors in distress, often operating in challenging weather conditions. Next up, it also had electronic warfare capabilities. Some BV-222 variants were equipped with radar and electronic warfare equipment, enhancing their reconnaissance capabilities. These systems allow the aircraft to detect and identify enemy radar installations, potentially disrupting enemy operations. The most impressive feature is the photographic documentation capacity of this aircraft. The BV-222 often carried aerial cameras and photographic equipment to capture images of enemy ships, coastlines and strategic areas. These photographs provided valuable intelligence to German naval command and facilitated tactical decision-making. It was also used for coastal defence and convoy protection. In addition to reconnaissance, the BV-222 played a role in coastal defence. It could be armed with defensive weaponry to protect friendly coastal installations, such as harbours or naval bases, from enemy attacks. It also provided escort and protection to German naval convoys. Saving the most interesting aspect for last, the psychological impact of the Titan. The mere presence of the BV-222 in coastal areas had a psychological impact on enemy forces. Its imposing size and the knowledge of its long-range capabilities instilled fear and uncertainty among adversaries, potentially disrupting their naval operations. The BV-222's vital role in maritime reconnaissance as coastal guardians ensured that the German forces had valuable intelligence on enemy naval activities, safeguarded coastal areas and contributed to the overall war effort. All in all, its versatility and adaptability in various maritime roles made it an essential asset for the Luftwaffe during World War II. Let's now take a closer look at the lethal defences of this magnificent Sky Titan. The Flying Fortress, the BV-222, was equipped with a range of defensive armament to protect itself from enemy attacks. First up, machine guns. The BV-222 was armed with several machine guns placed in strategic positions to provide all-round defence. It had a total of six remote-controlled turret positions, each housing a 13mm MG-131 machine gun. The turrets were located at the nose, dorsal, top, ventral, bottom and tail positions of the aircraft. The machine guns could be operated by the crew members inside the turrets, allowing them to engage enemy aircraft in different directions. While it sounds like a Tom Cruise movie come to life, the BV-222 also had fixed forward firing guns. In addition to the turrets, the BV-222 had fixed forward firing guns to engage enemy aircraft approaching from the front. It had two 20mm MG 151-stroke 20 cannons mounting on the nose of the aircraft, which provided additional firepower against incoming threats. Just wait and watch how crazy protected this aircraft was, because once you hear about the defensive measures for the BV-222, oh boy! The BV-222 incorporated armor plating to protect vital areas and crew members from enemy fire. This included armored glass windows in the cockpit, armored protection for the gunners and the turrets, and armor plates surrounding the crew positions. Did you know, to enhance survivability, the fuel tanks of the BV-222 were designed to be self-sealing. If a tank was punctured by enemy fire, the special rubberized coating of the tank would seal the hole, minimizing the risk of fuel leakage and fire. BV-222 was equipped with flare launchers and smoke dispensers to create defensive countermeasures. By deploying flares and smoke screens, the aircraft could confuse enemy fighters and make it difficult for them to accurately target the flying boat. Not to mention, while the BV-222 was a large and relatively slow aircraft, it had the advantage of being able to operate from water, which gave it some defensive capabilities. It could take off and land on water, making it harder for enemy aircraft to attack it compared to land-based aircraft. But here's where things really get interesting. The BV-222 wasn't just about shooting down enemy planes. It proved to be a total lifesaver in evacuation missions. Picture this massive flying boat swooping in and rescuing people in dire situations. During World War II, the BV-222 was used to evacuate wounded soldiers and civilians from dangerous areas. It could land on water and pick up people who were stranded under attack, Imagine being stuck in some war-torn area and suddenly seeing this gigantic flying boat coming to your rescue. It must have been a sight you'd never forget. This massive aircraft was the epitome of destruction. 
It had some serious anti-shipping operations that wreaked havoc on the enemy's naval forces. Picture this, you're on a ship, minding your own business, and suddenly you hear a roaring sound from above. You look up, and what do you see? A gigantic BV-222 flying boat, swooping down like a vengeful god of war. Yeah, that's the kind of terror this bad boy brought to the seas. The BV-222 was equipped with a deadly combination of firepower and range. It could carry bombs, torpedoes and depth charges, ready to rain destruction on any unfortunate ship that happened to be in its sights. You wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of its wrath, that's for sure. When it came to attacking enemy ships, the BV-222 had a few tricks up its sleeve. It could drop bombs from above, turning enemy vessels into floating fireballs, and if that wasn't enough, it could launch torpedoes that would send ships to the depths of the ocean in a heartbeat. Those torpedoes were like silent assassins, sneaking up on unsuspecting targets and delivering a knockout blow. But it didn't stop there. The BV-222 was also armed with depth charges, which were basically underwater explosives. It would fly over enemy submarines, detect their presence, and then drop these bad boys into the water, causing massive underwater explosions. Talk about giving those sneaky subs a taste of their own medicine. The range of the BV-222 was another advantage. It could cover long distances, which meant it could strike enemy shipping lanes far from home. Imagine being a ship captain, thinking you're safe in the middle of the ocean, and then out of nowhere, this monstrous flying boat shows up, ready to turn your ship into scrap metal. Yeah, that's the stuff nightmares are made of. So the BV-222 was like a floating nightmare for enemy ships. With its bombs, torpedoes, and depth charges, it brought destruction and chaos wherever it went. It was a force to be reckoned with, and serious threat to the enemy's naval operations. The BV-222's anti-shipping operations were a testament to its power and the ingenuity of its designers. It struck fear into the hearts of sailors and disrupted enemy supply lines, making life a whole lot harder for the bad guys. In the end, the BV-222's role in anti-shipping operations was a reminder that the seas were not safe for the enemy. It was a symbol of German naval power and a fearsome weapon that left a trail of destruction in its wake. Like every great machine, BV-222's time in the sky too came to an end. After the war, many BV-222's were either destroyed or left to deteriorate, their once mighty wings folding in the face of time. However, there were a few dedicated individuals who recognized the historical significance and the immense beauty of these flying boats. They embarked on a mission to preserve the legacy of the Sky Titans for future generations. With great effort and determination, these passionate individuals managed to find and restore one of the remaining BV Triple Twos. They breathed new life into this majestic machine, painstakingly bringing it back to its former glory. It was a labor of love, fueled by a deep appreciation for the aircraft's history and its place in the Hall of Fame of Aviation. And so, the final fight of the BV Triple Two became a poignant moment. A farewell to an era of skybound titans. With tears in their eyes, those who had poured their hearts into its restoration watched as the aircraft gracefully took to the skies one last time. In that final flight, the BV-222 whispered stories of courage, heroism, and the indomitable spirit of those who flew and served on these magnificent planes. It was a reminder of the sacrifices made during wartime and the enduring legacy left behind. Today, this restored BV-222 stands as a testament to the dedication and passion of those who sought to preserve its memory. It serves as a museum piece, a tangible link to a bygone era. Visitors can gaze upon its wings, touch its metal skin, and let their imaginations soar to the skies it once ruled. Let us know your thoughts on the mighty BV-222 flying titan of World War II in the comments below. See you in the next one, folks.